How I animate my own raster images. At first you need to draw your picture, as I say model. Separate it on fragments that you want to animate. Most artists separate the art after drawing, but I prefer draw all fragments previously. Don't forget about filling the blanks. At first, your mistakes may appear at this stage, until you understand how to predict the movement of your future animation. For example I drew her, she will show us how to use timeline, bones, meshes, bones physics, blinking animation and etc. Before we start I wanted to tell you about some techniques. I already know about two of them, then artist prefers to draw keyframes of movement in advance, or then they just animating them using the mesh. It is more visible on eye blinking animation. But both of these methods are cool and useful. I merge my fragments so that they are separate on each layer. Export as PSD. Launch MOA Pro. Create new project and import PSD as individually. Here is our character. You can change your project resolution here, file, project settings, to fit the image. Well, let's start animating. For your presentation, I will show how the movement of the object is obtained. You set keyframe, and program makes the movement by itself. Yes, it's very simple. Let's do the rigging for our model. This is always done on frame 0. The 0 frame is not shown on the final animation, and serves only to set up the model. For now we will talk about bones and meshes. Create a bone layer here and grab the model under it. Bone layer are working as a group layer. Pick up the add bone tool and set up the bones like this, torso, neck, head, shoulders. It's enough. Choose Manipulate Bones to see how it works. You can also change bone strength to change the influence of the bone on the fragment. It's important thing too, well, what is happening to our head? How to fix it? Select the head layer, choose bind layer tool and click on head bone. Do the same thing for hair, mouth, whites of eyes and everything about the head. Now looks better. Let's make individual bone layers for pigtails and bind it to head bone. I also did the same to neck layer and binded it to neck bone. Well, we set up the bones. Now we can drag all the fragments and creating simple movement. But that looks not naturally. Let's make and meshes. Create vector layer. Choose add point tool and check mark on sharp corners. Trace the head retreating far from the edge. Otherwise, the program will crop the image according to the outline you draw. Go to Draw tab and choose Triangulate 2D Mesh. Now imagine your fragment as 3D model and set the points. Double click on Head Layer. Image tab and in Smart War Player choose our Vector Layer. Now the mesh are tied for fragment. By using Magnet Tool you can move your object by mesh as we already did with Bones. To change Magnet Tool size just use Mouse Wheel on Numbers to increase or decrease Radius. I also wanted to show you the Layers settings. Double click on Layer and you can see that we can change Opacity, Blur Radius and Blending Modes as in Photoshop. Also you can hide your object at any time on animation, and make it visible again. You can create switch layer to make this process simply. It can be used for second type of animating as I said before. Very useful. To use mask on your layer by clipping mask in Photoshop there is peculiar method. Add object and mask in group layer. Double click on it. Masking. Choose hide all and it's done. On the preview, the mask does not work correctly. To see how it will look on render use control plus R command and it will be show to you. For now I talked about base functional of this program, there is also many features that can be useful for you. But I don't have too much time for it, so let's make simple animation and start rendering. Go to file, export animation. 
Choose the duration of your work in format. You can use video or GIF format. I'll use image sequence just for adding it on Sony Vegas for some effects. Done. Launching Vegas. Oh no. Is this a spoiler of my new video? Close this immediately. Adding effects. Exporting as MP4 and converting to GIF using online services. Yes it's hard. And done. Well I hope you enjoyed it more than me. Also you can watch tutorials of another features on YouTube. The themes I advise to learn, Smart Bones, Bezier, Cycles and Vector. Also don't skip my new animation.